my recordings of J. Ramsey's poetry, the spontaneous. They were off read for the first time. No preparation, though there were a few words that I came across that I found difficult to pronounce. And on two or three occasions, I re-did the poem. But in the last poem, The Golden Rock, there's this word which I have no idea how to pronounce. Globin Geminus, out of the high womb of the Globin Geminus cliff, sounds right to me. I think I said it better then than I did in the actual poem. They are poems that I felt in my first reading of them a connection. There was not one poem that I didn't understand. Maybe not fully, but I had an understanding. I didn't allow my mind to interfere. As a, when I was younger, I was a very good sight reader at the piano. I remember having 20 out of 21 for some of my exam results, sight reading. And I also recall that after having sight read something in a reasonably good way, um, manner, the second or third or fourth readings I found weren't quite so good. Is that because of concentration, focusing? I, I believe so. But also because what stops us from concentrating and focusing? The mind. A word or two enters the mind. A criticism enters the mind, which can prevent the flow, in this case music or poetry. And I found while I read J. Ramsey's poetry, I had no interfering thoughts, were well, not many. And if they were entering my mind, I continued to read oblivious, hopefully to you. I'm pleased I'm sharing these, po these poems because they, well, it says it all on the, on the cover, the message, poems to read the world. So that's what I've just done. So I do hope that you benefit from these recitations. I may redo them. I may do them with more emotion, with more feeling connection. I doubt it. I like first times. Bye. Bless you. Love.